Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Antonio. How are you? I feel a little, a little bad, teacher. I'm sorry to hear that. Really? What do you have? I I feel temperature, and also I have headache. So I I sent a mass a, a massage because I will be listening. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, yes, I, I, I asked with you because I, I don't see, uh, I see a few students. Yes, <laughs> just, just you, Christian, and Holman. <laughs> Very few people yes, today. Sure. It's okay, it's okay. I'm sorry that you feel bad, Antonio. You should take some medicine and uh, get some rest. That is going to help you. Yeah. All right, all right. Christian Holman, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening, guys. How are you? Good, teacher. Good, excellent. How was your day, Christian? Uh, today was today was a little uh, painful. Painful. Peace. Peace. I know. Peace. Peaceful. 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 Uh -huh. Yes. Really? Yes. Why? What happened? It, it was. Como se dice? Tranquilo. Relaxing. Relaxing. Yes. Today was a lot of work, but. but uh, not difficult, right? But uh, okay. But no, was a, a hard day. Okay. okay. It was not a hard day. All right. All right. That's, that's good for you, Christian. Yes. <laughs> yes. And it's almost Friday, huh? <laughs> yes. Well, it is almost Friday. Okay. Excellent, Christian. Thank you very much. Homan, what about you, Homan? How are you? Homan, are you there? Hi, good evening. How are you, Homan? I'm tired, but okay. I'm okay. Higher, but okay. All right, all right. That's good, Homa. How was your day, Homa? Tell me. Uh, difficult and heavy. Oh, no. Difficult and heavy. Okay, I understand. That's not good, right? I am working in my house. I am I am doing a construction. Construction. Construction plan or something? Or... or... Your house, in your house? Yes. So oh. It's, it's hard. And what, what are you building? What are you, excuse me, what are you building? A house, a bathroom, uh, what is it? Um, uh, in front, in front of my house, mm -hmm. three, okay. three walls, three walls. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, okay. it is. So it was difficult and heavy, right? Mm, it's long work. I, I am not, I am not. Uh, I don't know what is the word, albañil. No carpenter. A carpenter. No, 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 no. What's the word? I forgot the word in English. Yes, I am oh, not. Okay, uh, construction worker. Let's say, for example, construction yeah. worker. I am not just, I am a, how would say that? A helper? I am, and yes, I am help. Okay, okay. That's that's good, that's good. Okay, Homan, excellent. Very good, very good. I'm happy that you are here again, yes. Hector, Natalie, hi guys, how are you? Hi, teacher, fine. All right. Fine. What about you, Hector? How are you? Um, I'm, I'm fine, fine, I think. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. The, it's a good day. Uh, a little, little tired, but a busy day, but good for my work. A little tired, busy day, but you are okay. Okay. And what do you do, tell me? What do you do at the company today? Uh, 
Today, go to the Chalatenango. I went. Uh, uh -huh. Went, went. Yes. To Chalatenango, uh, but uh, La Vuelta's town, Las Vueltas. Sorry? Eh, ahora fui well, a Las Vueltas, <clears throat> municipio Las Vueltas. Ah, oh, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> Okay, okay. And you know, how, you know how this country? Um, today. Uh -huh. How was the trip? The trip, uh, the traffic is very hard uh, ah, in, in the, uh, ¿cómo se llama? It's, it's horrible. It's, it's horrible. Uh, but the, when, when I went, I uh, used another, another street Okay. For, for come, but he's very. Eh, ¿Cómo digo? No, todavía no he llegado a casa, teacher. Sorry. Todavía no he llegado a casa. We am not home yet. We am not home yet. In the chat, I'm not home. I'm not home yet. Or you can say, I'm not at home yet. I'm not at home yet. Or I'm, I'm not in my house. I'm not in my house. My house. Okay. All right. I'm sorry that you are. Are you driving, Hector? Uh, no, in a. ¿Cómo digo? Todavía estoy, estoy aquí esperando a que pasen por mí. <laughs> wow, I'm sorry. It's. Uh, almost 10 past eight, and you're still waiting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, but the, the traffic is very awful. Yeah. yeah no. Especially today. today that is Thursday, and tomorrow is going to be worse because it's going to be Friday. Friday is awful, like really, really awful. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's, 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 for, it's, it's stressful. <laughs> it is. It is. Yes, it is. I hate traffic. <laughs> uh, I had to, but yeah. a little, a little more, more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give me a second. Okay. Excellent, Hector. Nice talking to you. Let me check on somebody else. Uh, let me see. Fatima, hi. How are you, Fatima? Good evening. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Yes. How are you? Tell me. Um... ¿Cómo se dice como ánimos bajos? Como ánimos. You can say, I'm low battery. I'm low battery. I'm low battery. Okay. Why? What happened? <laughs> I has. I have. Uh, I have an accident with car, my car. Oh no! What happened? Um. How how did you how this, did you crash? Did you crash your car or somebody crashed you or what? I crashed. Oh no! Bad. Car. Huh? Really bad? No, no. Oh, okay. Yes. No. All right, I'm sorry, must be sad. Mm -hmm. I, I almost, let me tell you this, like three or four days ago, I almost crashed. Well, no, a person almost hit me, you know? It was like really, really close. It's that the person didn't see the, the stop sign and the person just kept driving and this person almost hit me. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Fatima, I'm sorry. I know it's, it's hard and it's sad. Uh, yes. Yes. Now you have to repair your car, right? Yes. Don't hmm, don't have have much damage. Oh, the car doesn't. It doesn't have much damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. I'm sorry, Fatima, about your car. Thank you. Yes. All right. All right. Isabel, hello.
Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I am fine. I, I am a little stressed, but I am fine. Okay, a little stressed, but you're fine. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, did you enjoy the classical today? Oh, no. Did you watch it? No? No, no, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Some people say it was boring. I don't know. I didn't watch it either. Okay. <laughs> how, was your, how was your day, Isabel? Um, very busy my day. Yeah. Really? Uh, uh, yeah, yes, and tomorrow too. Oh, no. Yeah, and tomorrow is the, like the end of the week. So I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit more difficult for you guys, more tiring. You're going to have more work, more tasks to finish. Uh, it's it's Friday. Yes, yes it's Friday. It's tomorrow, okay. is, tomorrow is a, is a day. Uh, it's a day <laughs> very, very easy for me. Oh, oh really? I'm sorry. Okay. So tomorrow you're going to be tired, huh? <laughs> Yes. yes. Okay. I understand. I understand. Me too. Uh, tomorrow, the tomorrow is an easy day for me. Tomorrow, I don't really work. I just work uh, from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. 7, 8, 9. I just work three hours tomorrow. Three hours, yes. yes. <laughs> so it is going to be a very easy day for me. Three, three hours in the morning, and then I'm going to be here with you guys in the evening or at night, if you will. Yes. I'm not working in the afternoon right now. I just, I asked for some days off because I was getting too tired. Yes. So in my case, I'm happy people. Tomorrow is Friday, easy day for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for you, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, that's not good. Anyway, though, hello, Ariana, thank you for being here. I'm not sure if you guys are available. Let me know, please. Natalie, hello, are you there, available? Yes. Okay, how are you? How was your day? Good. Today was a, a very easy and calm day. All right, good for you. What about tomorrow? Do you think it's gonna be difficult? Yes, some kind of difficult. <laughs> really? Why? I need to, to give a safety shot in my work. Really? Yes, and we we have a we will have a safety meeting with with all the employees, and it's my responsibility to give some uh, topics. Okay, okay. So it is going to be a little a little stressing and difficult. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thanks. All right, all right. Nice talking to you then. <laughs> Excellent people. Uh, well, I haven't heard from Adriana and Elibaldo. They are not probably available for the moment. Okay. And Gabriel is also there. People, I will be I will be turning off the camera and uh, turning off and on the camera because I have an allergy problem. I usually have this allergy problem in a, you know, something happens to my, to my nose and I have to be, you know, doing something to my nose. That's why if you see that I turn off my camera, it's because I have this, this problem, okay? Yes, it's not because I want to turn it off, yes. All right, everybody, welcome. Thank you for being here. What a pleasure, people. And today is Thursday, tomorrow is the last day. Yes, tomorrow we're gonna celebrate, yes. So bring bring cakes and uh, candles and, 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 and balloons. <laughs> all right, all right. Guys, did you get the, the link for the survey? I think you got it now, right? Did you get it? Yes? Okay, she got it, she got it. All right, all right. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that you have it, okay? <clears throat> what is this? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you for confirming. Okay, guys, let me take attendance real quick. I hate allergy. Let me take attendance. <clears throat> Here, Thursday, the second. Uh, Adriana Maria Turcios, 
she's there, right? But uh, well, she will let me know. So, Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Present teacher. Yes. Christopher Spitia Chipawa. Uh, Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present teacher. Yes. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Present. Hector Francisco Morales. Present teacher. Yes. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Holman Saúl Giron Sánchez. Present. Yes, thank you. La, Laura Yasmin Portillo. Lucy Nazali Juárez. Present. Thank you. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Nelson Antonio Herrera Rosales. Oscar Armando Romero. Uh, Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara. <coughs> Roberto Carlos Hernández Cruz. And the last one, Rosalina Alvarado. Let me see the chat over here. Antonio, thank you. Gabriel and Elivan. Yes. All right, all right. Okay, people, there are a few things to do. There are a few things to do. And we're going to start right now. And I will start by sharing the presentation with you. Uh, wait. Actually, it's not a presentation. It's a Word document. In this Word document, I'm going to show you something or, or what we're going to be dealing with today. Let me just load this. Open it and load it. Just give me a second, right? It's it's loading. <clears throat> okay, it is ready. Okay. Let me share this Word document with you guys. Over here in this Word document, we have this. Please let me know when you see the document. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. Look, we got fire safety. Fire safety vocabulary. All right. Uh, as you can see, we got the vocabulary and we got the object or a small picture next to the word or next to the words. And that way you're going to see what they are in a very easy way. We got the firefighter. Firefighter is the person. OK, the person that fights with the fire. Right. Uh, this word, it used to be firemen. It used to be firemen, but we don't use firemen anymore. We use fire, fighter, okay? Yes. Back then, or a few years ago, we used to say firemen. Now, firemen is not very often. We use firefighter, okay? Yes. Uh, let's continue. The fire station is the, the, fire fight, the firefighter's workplace, okay? Fire station is where they work. Sliding pole, look at the picture over there. The sliding pole is what they use to move from the, from the, uh, from upstairs, from upstairs to downstairs, okay? Or basically from the, from the floor where they're working to the parking space. The parking space is down there and they use the sliding pole, you know, to, to get down there faster. In case of emergencies, they take it or they use it. The fire truck is the machine or the transportation that they use. 
okay? Uh, we got a letter, fire trunk. And you got the small car over there or trunk. Ladder, ladder, they use ladders too. Look, look at the ladder, we got it there. If there is a word that you don't understand, just write it down in your notebooks, okay? Ladder, ladder, right? Ladder, ladder, escalera, right? That's what it is, ladder, yes. This word ladder is also used when you're talking about your about, about company positions. You can use ladder when you're talking about company positions, okay? Some people, they wanna go up, okay? Or they wanna ladder up, means they wanna go up. Let's continue here. We can use it in different contexts. Fire alarm bell. Fire alarm bell. This fire alarm bell is is the alarm that people that they have in the fire in the fire station? Okay, look at the, the small picture over here. Fire alarm bell. Bell is campana, right? So fire alarm bell. You got it over here. So this is the the, the alarm that firefighters have in the fire station. Firehouse dog. Firehouse dog. They use dogs too, the same as police, that the police uses dogs too, okay? Firehouse dog, helmet, you know what helmet is. We got the badge. This one you might not know. What is badge, people? We don't see the picture very well, so we, didn't, we cannot really identify what, what it is. What is badge, do you know? What badge is? <clears throat> Any ideas? Guys, hello. No, you don't know. Badge is is a uh, a piece of metal, a piece of metal that police officers use or that firefighters use. It's something small. How do you call it in Spanish? How do you call it in Spanish? The badge. It's como la plata, right? Right? Is it plata in Spanish? Not really sure. <laughs> I'm not really sure if it is that in Spanish. I think it is like that. All right. The mask, you know what the mask is, okay? Boots, you know what boots are. Turn out gear. Turn out gear. Turn out is not like that. It's a single word, it's a compound word. It's turn out. There you go, in the chat, turn out gear. Turn out gear, okay, equipo de protección. You got the picture over there. Gear, equipo, right? But talking about clothes, that's gear, all right? A very special, a very special cloth or, or uh, yeah, yeah, cloth that help you, help you uh, do something, all right? And we have the ax over here, the ax, it's over here. That one is easy to understand. Yeah, extinguisher. We, we were dealing with this one yesterday. Buckets, it's a convito, right? Or, or the recipients that we use, balde, right? In Spanish. Or mostly known as cumbo in, in many, many parts or region of, regions of El Salvador. Hydrants. Oh, this one, I think you, did, you didn't know this one. Hydrant, look, we got it here. Look at the picture. Hydrant, all right? Hydrant. How do you say this in Spanish, people? Hydrant. You have the picture, you have the object. How do you say this in Spanish? Hydrantes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. Then we got the hose. The hose is the one, the, the thing that we use to move the wire to different places. Hose, manguera, okay? It is similar to house. <laughs> But it's not how it's hose, hose. Okay, yes. And we got the water, that one easy, fire, yes, smoke. We got smoke over here. Smoke ha, uh, has different definitions. In this case, smoke is humo. All right, yes. Let's continue. Fire alarm. The fire alarm is the, the alarm that a house or a building has. 
Okay, look, fire alarm bell. That one is in the in the in the in the place. Fire alarm. I mean, in the firefighters' place. And the fire alarm is where the victim is at. Smoke alarm. All right, you gotta hear. Okay, alma de humo. Right. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. What is stop, drop, and roll? We got it here. Look, stop, drop, and roll. Right? You stop, you stop and roll. You roll. It's when you when you are like like uh, running, probably running, and then you stop and you like go to the ground. You stop rolling. You know that way you stop the fire. Fire exit. You know it's where you the door that can you can use to escape. Fire drill, we got fire drill. What's a fire drill? What's a drill? No? Simulacro. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. You see, thank you, thank you. That's what it is. Yes. That's a fire drill. No matches. What is matches? Matches, small things. Phosphorus, okay? Phosphorus. 911 is the, the, the police number. Putting out fire, put out means. Put out, that's the phrasal verb. Put out means apagar, okay? Put out, put out fire or putting out fire, apagando fuego, right? Yes. Rescue, you know what rescue, ambulance, you know what ambulance is. Let me make this a smaller. And uh, guys, do you have questions about the vocabulary, about this vocabulary? Make it smaller. There you go. Still here. All right. You have the vocabulary. Do you have any questions about this? <clears throat> yes. No. No. We're good. Teacher, the second of the. Uh, uh, Right, no, it's left side. Mm -hmm. uh, here's slide and fold. What means in Spanish? Slide, sliding fold. Slide, el, 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 I don't know in Spanish. Es el que quito para deslizarse. I don't know in Spanish. I don't know the name in Spanish. El tubo. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Slide, slide is the verb. Slide, deslizar, okay? Slide, slide in the shadow. Slide, all right? Slide. Pole is a post, there's un poste, okay? Pole, polling or poste. Yes, that's pole. All right, excellent. More questions, people? No, we're good? Let me get some water. Okay, there are no questions. There are no more questions. That's okay, that's okay. Let's move on here. I came up with this short conversation in, in which we are talking about fire and things like that. Look at it, it's here. Do you see the conversation, guys? Thank you, thank you, Lucy. Yes, I can see. Let me see if I can, I can. Uh... Okay, look, it says here, it says here, conversation about fire. We got Tony and Ronald talking about fire. Hold on. I apologize, this IOG is just, it's just like, really, really giving me problems. It happens, you know, it's because of the dust. Uh, let me read this to you. Listen to the pronunciation. And after that, you can ask me questions about the vocabulary. It says, we have been informed that there are some casualties in the fire we put out last night. The landlord says we didn't want to sa keep saving people. It was too much for us. Plus, there was no hydrant nearby. 
yes, I have already made that information available to the public, but apparently we will, we will have to go to the court, go to court since some relatives of the deceased have sued us. That's delicate and unfair. We did what was, our, what was in our hands. And let me tell you this, there were no extinguishers in that place. Excuse me, that was with S. There were no extinguishers in that place. So the landlord had better not get into this. He will end up losing the case and we'll probably have lots of customers. We will have to go to court anyways to defend the case. We need to gather enough evidence. I will get in touch with, with our coworkers. They might still be at the fire station. Do that and whatever information you get, send it to me. I will make a compilation of all, that, of all of that information. We need to have a solid evidence or we might end up in jail. We won't. We will get enough evidence. There you go, there you go. Very delicate situation over here, all right? <laughs> Okay, vocabulary questions here, people. I think everything is clear, but just in case, you tell me. Right, so question, questions, any questions? No, we're good. Teacher, landlord. Land oh, the landlord. Landlord, what is it? Landlord. I don't know where is it is. Okay, here, here. Uh, the landlord is in Spanish proprietario, right? But the, land, the landlord, the landlord is the person who owns a building. And in this building, he rents the apartments. Okay, that is the landlord. It's a man. If you want to uh, include the woman, the woman is landlady, all right? Yes, landlord, proprietario, landlady, proprietaria, okay? Yes. More questions? What is deceased over here? Look, deceased. What is it? to Oscar. <laughs> well, what is he doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Oscar? <laughs> He's drawing. Okay. This is the uh, los fallecidos, okay? Fallecidos. Los caídos. That's what it is. Okay. Yes. Let's start uh, practicing the conversation. Let me see, let me choose two people and we're gonna practice it. Help us, Isabel, with, with Fatima. Yes, you two guys, go ahead. I'm start. You can start, yes. We have been informed there are some casualties mm -hmm. in the fire we put out last night. The landlord say, we didn't want to keep saving people. It was too much for us. Plus, there was no hydrant nearby. Yes, I have already made that information available. Available? To, available to the public. But apparently, we will have to go to court signs some relatives of the deceased, deceased, deceased have sued us, sued us, sued us, sued us. You can say sued us, or you can you can uh, join join the two the two words. Remember, in simple past, in simple past, is this is this very often. All right, sued us. Sudas. Sudas. Uh -huh. Sudas. We, we end the word su with a D. Sud. With D. Sud. 
So, sued us, right? Sued us. Or you can say sued us. You separate them. Okay. Yes. Continue. I'm sorry. That's delicate and on fire. We did what was in your hand. And let me tell you this. There were no extinguisher in the plate. So the landlord had better not get in this. He will end up losing the case and will probably have loss of customer. We will have to go to court anyways. To defend the case, we need to gather and out evidence. Gather, gather. Gather, 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 gather. I will get in touch with our workers. They might still be at the fire station. Do that and whatever information you get, send it to me. Send it to me. I will make a compilation of all of that information. Compilation. Compilation. Compilation of all of that information. We need to have solid evidence or we might end up in jail. We won't. We will get enough evidence. Okay. Can you switch roles now? Yes. Okay. Thank you. We have been informed that there are some casualties in the fire we put out last night. The landlord says we didn't want to keep saving people. It was too much for us. Plus, there was no hydrant nearby. Hydrant. Hydrant. Hyd hydrant nearby. Yes, I have already made that information available to the public, but apparently we will have to go to court, sign some relat relative or relative. the deceased relative of deceased has sued us. Sued us. <laughs> sued us. That's delicate and on fire. On fire. On fire. On fire. On fair. On fair. We did what was in our hands. And let me tell tell you this. There were no stingers in that place. So that oh distinguishers. Extinguishers mm -hmm. in that place. So the landlord had better not get into this. He will end, end up losing the case and will probably have loss of customers. We will have to go to court anyways. To defend the case, we need to carry enough evidence. I will get in touch with our co-workers. They meet still be at the fire station. Might still, they might still, might. Might still be at the fire station. Do that and wherever information you get, send it to me. I will make a compilation of the, of that information. We need to have solid evidence or we might end up in jail. We won't. We will get an out evidence. All right, all right, excellent people. Thank you very much for your participation. Uh, just let me help you a little bit with this. Uh, 
Here, let me go through the words. Okay, here we didn't see this one. Uh, we didn't check this one out. Where is 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 gather? Do you have any ideas about gather? Gather? No? It means collect. Gather means collect. Okay, we need to collect enough evidence. Okay, yes. Very good. Uh, and this one, compilation. Compilation, it's, okay, a collection. <laughs> a collection, that's what it is. Right, mm, let me see. This one, you can say relatives or you can say relatives. Relatives or relatives, both are okay. I say relatives, right? Deceased over here, deceased. All right, let's continue here with two more people. Let me try with, uh, Natalie, can you help us? Yes, teacher. Yes, thank you, thank you. And Hector, Hector, are you there? Okay, you guys, go. We have been informed there are some casualties in the fire we put out last night. The landlord says we didn't want to keep saving people. Hello. Hector? <laughs> I think Anchor is having uh, internet problems. Yes. Okay. Christian, help us, Christian. Okay, teacher. Yes. I am Ronald. Yes. Okay. It was too much for us. Plus, there was not either it, either one, either one, neither hydrant. Hydrant, yes. Yes, I have already made that information available to the public, but apparently we will have to go to court since some relatives of the deceased have sued us. That's delicate and unfair. We did what was in our hands. And let me tell you this, there were no extinguishers. Extinguishers. It's extinguishers in that place. So the landlord had better not get into this. He will end up losing the case and will probably have loss of customer. We will have to go to court anyways to defend the case. We need to gather enough evidence. I will get in touch with our co-workers. They might still be at the fire station. Do that in whatever information you get, send it to me. I will get, make a compilation of all that information. We need to have solid evidence or we may, might end up in jail. We won't, we will get enough evidence. Okay, yes. Switch roles, please. Oh, wait, wait, before you do that, uh, here, says, says, okay? When, the, when you have the S, it's says, not says. Uh, hydrant, okay, remember, hydrant, information available, apparently, okay. Un, unfair, unfair. Unfair means injusto, okay? Unfair. Let me see, extinguishers, extinguishers, okay. Um, only that one, Ga gather, gather, all right, gather. Another one here. Uh, okay, this one, this one, it means end up is a phrase or verb, end up, okay, end, end up. Uh, up right you can join the words or connect them and it sounds like a like a single word or like a like one word end up end up if it is part past form ended up 
Okay. Now, Chris and Lucy, continue, please. Switch roles. Thank you very much. Okay, teacher. We have been informed there are some casualties, casualties in the fire we put on last night. The landlord says we didn't want to keep saving people. It was too much for us. Plus, there was no hydro nearby. Yes, I have already made that information available to the public, but apparently we will have to go to court since, since some relatives of the deceased have sued us. That's delicate and unfair. We did what was in our hands. And let me tell you this, there were, there were no extinguishers in that place. So the, land, the landlord had better not get into this. He will end up losing the case and we probably have lots of customers. We will have to go to the court anyways to defend the case. We need to gather, to gather enough evidence. I will get in touch with our coworkers. They might still be at the fire station. Do that and whatever information you get, send, send it to me. I will make a compilation of all of that information. We need to have solid evidence or we, or we, or we meet. We might. We might, uh -huh, sorry. Yeah. Or we might end up in jail. We won. We will get enough evidence. Very good, very good. Thank you very much, Lucy and Christian, for your participation. Excellent. Let's continue with two more people here. Uh, those people are Holman. Holman, hi. Help us, please. All right. Okay, Holman and, uh, well, let me see. Hold on. Sorry. I, well, the other is not available. It's on your no, no, no. Okay. Uh, can anybody help help Holman, please, with the conversation? No. Sure, I can stay for a few minutes and read that. If you let me. I want to pack the stitcher. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna wait for you, but we're gonna continue with something else. No, wait. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, you're ready. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Go ahead. Uh, yes. <clears throat> um, we have been informed there are some casualties in the fire we pumped out last night. The land, landlord, landlord says we okay. didn't want to keep saving people. It was too much for us. Plus, uh, there was no hydrant nearby. Yes, I have already made that information available to the public. But apparently, we will have to go to court since some relative of the together to us that's delicate on that's delicate and unfair we did was we did what was in our hands and let me tell you this there were no extingu uh, extinguishers in the place so the landlord had better not get into this uh, he will 
he will end up losing the case and will probably have lost the of customers. We will have to go to court anyway to defend the case. We need to gather and now evidence. I will get in touch with our co-workers. They might still be at the fire station. Do that and um, whatever information you get, send it to me. I will make a complication of the compilation of all of that. We need to, to have solid evidence or we might end in opinion. We won't. We will get enough evidence. Okay. We have been informed there are some casualties in the fire we put out last night. The landlord says we didn't want to keep saving people. It was too much for us. Plus, there was no movie. Yes, I have already. Sorry. Yes, I have already made that information available to the public but apparently we will have to go to court since some relatives of the deceased, deceased have sued, uh, sued us. Uh, teacher, what, what are the pronunciation for deceased? Deceased. With the deceased. Yeah, the us. Okay, of the deceased, have sued us. Not delicate and unfair. 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 That's delicate and, and, and unfair. We did what was in our hands. And let me tell you this. There were no strangers. Uh, the stingers, extinguishers, extinguishers in that place. So the landlord not very not get into this. He will end up losing the case and will probably have loss of customers. We will have to go, we will have to go to court anyways to defend the case. We need to gather enough evidence. We will get in court with uh, They might still be at the fire station. Do that. And whatever information you get, send it to me. I will make a compilation of all that information. We need to have solid evidence or we might end up, end up in jail. We won. We won. Repeat, please. We won. We didn't hear you. Uh, one. Last one, last part. We want, we want, we will get enough evidence. Okay, we will get enough evidence. Okay, people, excellent, very good, very good. Now, we're going to continue. There is an activity down here that we're not going to do right now. We're gonna do later, we're gonna do it later on if we have time. Very good. Let's continue with another part. And that part is, it's gonna be on page number 40. Open your books on page number 40. On page number 40, we have this information. 
We continue dealing with unit number four, assessing risks or assessing risk, evaluating risk. This is the last page of the book with content. I mean, the last, the last page is this one. It doesn't have anything, you see? Okay, so it means we, we finished the book today. This is the, 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 last, the last thing in the book. All right, I will be able to identify key information in a passage about a fire escape plan. I will be able to identify or identify key information in a passage about a fire escape plan. Scape is with, with, with E, all right? Scape with E in the beginning. Now, look, we got the first question. This is for everybody. Is there an emergency plan at your workplace? Guys, is there an emergency plan at your workplace? Tell me. Hello. In theory, yes. But in the practice, I'm not, I'm not sure. Because sometimes teachers of the college, on the private school, do some, um, they have, how do you say simulacrum? Drills. 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 Yeah, they, they do some trials for a earthquake and something like that, but they don't have any plan for something like that, for earthquake, for fire, or for some hurt for some students. They don't have actually, but they said, uh, yes, we have a plan, but it is not real. Where do you work again, please repeat? It's in, I work at the church, but the church have a private school. Has. I, hmm? The church has a private school. Uh, yes, the church has a private school. Okay. And is that the context? Okay, I understand now, I understand now. <laughs> There is no plan. <laughs> I mean, you just you say that there's a plan, but there's no plan in reality. <laughs> all right, all right. That's okay. That's okay. Yes, is that okay? What about the rest? Isabel, Fatima. What about you guys, Natalie, Holman, Christian, Francisco? Do you have an emergency plan at the company? Maybe, Maybe. but I don't know. Oh, what is? You don't know. <laughs> no. Okay. Just uh, um, es make escape once. Eh, um, once a year. Sorry. Once a year, uh, make a escape. What do you mean you make escape? El simulacro. Oh, drill, drill. Drill, yes, drill. For, um, for an earthquake or for a fire? For terremotos. Earthquake, earth. Earthquake. Earth. earth. Air. Like earth, earth. Earth. Quick, first no, no. quick. Con, con el, ton, el sonido de, de with, with, earth. Earth, quick. Uh -huh. you go. Earthquake. Earthquake. Earth. Don't forget that. Earthquake. Earth, earth. Okay. Earth. All right, all right. Uh, I think Hector was about to say something. Hector? Hi, teacher. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. No. Oh, okay. My internet is very, very ugly. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. 
Uh, in my case, we have we have a commission. I don't know if, if yes, yes. it work. Commission. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Commission for for uh, they um, como diría build o el, construyeron. Sí. Build a uh, uh, document. I don't know who 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 is. Made, made. Uh, como como reglamento. ¿Cómo sería el reglamento? Rules. Rules. Rules yes. for, for, uh, uh, for activate the, the commission, emergency commission in different circumstances, uh, different circumstances, different moments. Different moment. uh, uh, the last, uh, ¿cómo sería? Ultimo, la última vez, the last. The last. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, for the COVID situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So you did a, you did a drill for the COVID, for the COVID, I think, all right? All right. Okay, people, there's a, a second question. Thank you, Hector, Fatima, and uh, Magdaleno. And I think there was another person. But let's continue with the other one. Look, have you been informed about what to do in case of fire or an earthquake? Guys, have you been informed about what to do in case of a of a fire or an earthquake? Tell me. Have you been informed? Hello. Uh, teacher. Yes. My office is close to, to um, Balsamo. Costa, eh, ¿cómo se llama? La, la Cordillera de Balsamo. I don't know how to say it in English. It's okay, in Spanish. Oh, Cordillera de Balsamo. Eh, and you know, this, they have, uh, each have a problem for flow. No, por como se dice, slave flow. ¿Cómo se dice flow? What? Eh, no, no, no remember. You, you remember uh, the Colinas situation? Ah, hills. The office is close to this this uh, this place. Okay. And the, if if we have earthquake, uh, um, it's necessary keep the calm and see the mountain. <laughs> Uh, uh -huh. we have a como se meeting point una reunión de punto de reunión i don't know who say oh we got a, a meeting spot but no for for tax no the uh, ab uh, i don't know o sea que tenemos un punto de encuentro pero no es meeting no yes, no I it's know, not for talk it's for I know, I it's, know. it's similar yes and they save area never never make a simulacrum save area uh-huh never never make a simulacrum Real. Real. Mm -hmm. okay this is my case you you've never done that okay that's okay that's okay christian what about you christian have you been informed about what to do in case of a fire or uh an earthquake uh, yes, teacher. Uh, in my company, we receive um, capacitation mm. or training, training. Uh, a, a training. Yes, a training or meeting that we receive that information. Uh, what do we have to do in in that case? Okay, and right. that that is for all the employees mm -hmm. okay it is for all the employees okay okay yeah. very good christian thank you very much uh let me hear someone one more person let me see lucy what about you lucy have you been informed about what to do in case of fire or an earthquake yes teacher uh, i in the case of an emergency in the plan 
active uh, the emergency emergency plan and they active alarm a general alarm and that is the that is the alert for stop the work that you uh, realize in the moment and you need to evacuate to the meeting point okay okay and we have two meeting points and you need to take the most nearby of your work workplace and then um, they have a we have a meeting in in that in that place and we have a uh, information about the emergency the moment all right all right apparently you are ready huh <laughs> she's ready she's ready <laughs> It's because I'm working in the safety area and I give some of a emergency advice for the new employees in the plant. All right, all right. Excellent. That's good. That's good. I don't know much about, about this, you know, about emergencies. Uh, I might think of a way of a natural reaction, you know, like human reaction. But to do to do something really really good like systematic, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to think through. Yes. Okay, very good. Now let's continue with the second part. The second part we have a paragraph that is a little long. I'm going to read this paragraph to you guys. I need to pay attention, and also please mark or underline the words or expressions that you don't understand okay after i finish reading we're gonna review that vocabulary let me read it says there up there in the indication it says read the following excerpt about i about a fire escape plan okay practice escaping from every room in the building Practice escape plans every month. The best plans have two ways to get out of, re out of each room. If the primary way is blocked by fire or, or smoke, you will need a second way out, like a window onto an adjacent roof. Also, practice filling your way out, uh, way out of the building in the dark or with your eyes closed. Next immediately leave the place when a fire occurs do not waste any time saving goods take the safest exit route but if you must escape through a smoke remember to crawl low under the smoke and keep your mouth covered the smoke contains toxic gases which can disorient or disorient you or at worst overcome you never never open doors that are hot to the touch when you come to a closed door use the back of your hand to feel the top of the door the doorknob the and the crack between the door and the door frame to make sure that the fire is not on the other side if it feels hot use a sec Use your secondary escape route. Designate a meeting, a meeting place outside and take attendance. Designate a meeting location away from the building. For example, meet under a specific tree or at the end of the driveway or front sidewalk to make sure everyone has gotten out safely. And no one will be hurt looking for someone who is already safe. Once out, stay out. Remember to escape first. Then notify the fire department. Never go back into the burning building for any reason. If someone is missing, tell the firefighters. They are equipped to perform rescues safely. Finally, Having working smoke alarms installed on every level of the building dramatically increases your chances of survival. Smoke alarm batteries need to be tested every month and changed with new ones at least once a year. People, do you have any questions about this paragraph? Yes. 
Hello? Do you have so what is adjacent roof? Adjacent. Adjacent. Uh, consigo. Like next to. A la parte. Consigo. It's like. Como una ventana. A la par. O sobre. Uh, it would be like. Una ventana que está cerca del, del techo. O a la parte del techo. Yes. Adjacent. Adjacent is next to. Consigo or, or a la par de. Yes. Adjacent. Onto, sobre. It's like on, on. All right? Yes. More questions, people? Hello? Guys, more questions? No, we're good? No, teacher. No, yet. No, I don't have. Okay. Very good. Uh, I need people to practice reading this, this paragraph. I need a person to read the first tip or the first idea or the first, uh, I don't know, rule to follow. Yes. Could I? Okay, go ahead and then Christian, Christian, you gotta continue with this thing. Okay. Practice escaping for uh, practice escaping from every room in the building. Practice practice escape plans every month. The best plans have two ways to get out of each room. If the primary way is blocked by the fire or smoke, you will need a second way out like a window onto an adjacent roof. Also, practice filling your way out of the building in the dark or with your eyes closed. Okay, wait. Uh, here, primary. Primary, I think. Primary. Primary, yeah. Adjacent. It's not primary, okay, primary. Yes, primary. Adjacent. 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 Yes. Okay, I have to take note. Okay, okay very good. Uh, Christian, help us with the second one, please. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, do not waste any time saving goods. Take the safest exit route. But if you must escape through smoke, remember to crawl low under the smoke and keep your mood covered. The smoke contains toxic gas which can dis disorient, disorient. You or disorient you or at worst overcome you. Overcome you, yes. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. Uh crawl that they are, okay. Uh, yeah, only about that one. At worst, o peor, okay. O peor. Overcome, what is overcome? You know? Hmm? Overcome. You know, it's not des desmayarse, like that. Let's continue with another person. Uh, let me choose that person. Coleman, are you there? Can you help us please with this one? It says designate a meeting please outside and take a turn. Coleman? Yes, teacher. Oh no, it's never, never open, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Never open doors that are hot to the touch. When you come, 
sorry. When when you come to a closed door, use the back of your hand to feel the top of the door. The door door knob the door knob and the the crack crack between the door and door frame to make sure sure that fire is not on the other side. If the feels hot, use your secondary space route. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Uh, door knob, what is a door knob, people? What do you call it in Spanish? La manecilla de la puerta. Oh. Yeah, right, right, right. Is it perilla? No, no, right? Perilla. Oh, yeah, that's not the one. Okay, I wasn't sure about it. Thank you, thank you. And what is crack? Crack? Crack has many, many definitions. <laughs> many definitions. In this case, they're talking about la, la, la. How do you call it? La abertura que está entre la pared y la puerta. Crack, yes. Crack can also be a verb, like you, when you crack an egg, when you crack your your uh, the screen of your cell phone, you crack it, means you break it, but it's cracked, not broken. Okay, let's continue with the other one. Lucy, yes, can you help us please? Designate a meeting place outside and take attendance, that one. Designate a meeting place outside and take attendance. Designate a meeting location away from the building. For example, meet under a specific tree or the end of the driveway or from sidewalk uh, to make sure everyone has gotten up safely and no one will be hurt looking for someone who is already safe. Excellent, very good, very good. Uh, just one thing here. You say garden, right? You can say garden, no problem. Okay. But if you want to sound more more native, it will be garden, garden, right? Garden, garden. You can say garden with no problems. It's okay. Yes. Okay. In, I say garden. Yes, garden. But gar, garden is also correct. Or even garden. Garden is also correct. Garden. The next one is once out, stay out. Once out, stay out. Okay, that's that's the one. Yes, that happened to me. People, they told me once, once handsome, always handsome. That's me. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's continue with with the uh, yes, Fatima. Help us, please. With the once out, stay out. Once out, stay out. Remember to escape first, then notify the fire department. Never go back into a burning building for any reason. If someone is missing, tell the firefighters. They are equipment to perform rescue safety. Safety. Equipped. Okay. <laughs> yes. It's equipment. It's okay. Thanks. All right. All right. Isabel, hello. Are you there? Can you please help us read the last part over here? Just finally, this one. Isabel, hello. Isabel is sleeping. <laughs> sleeping. All right. Hector, can you help us? Yes, teacher, I can. All right. Finally, having working, uh, finally, having working smoke alarm installed on Every level of the building dramatically increase your chance of survival. A smoke alarm batteries need to be tested every month and changed with the with new ones at least least or last least. At least. Least. At least 
once a year. Once, once a year, okay. Uh, in, <clears throat> listen to this, installed, installed uh, dra dramatically. Yes. Oh, people, if you see, if you see words, well, adverbs, <clears throat> like go to a chat, you have that word, Kali, Kali. Let me help you, grandma. Look at that. Okay. See, grammatically, but basically in drama, grammatically, right? But it's not Kali. The, the Kali is Kali. Grammatically, Kali, Kali. Basically and dramatically. Kali, not Kali, all right? Dramatically. Sorry. That applies. That applies to every word that has the Kali ending. It's not Kali, okay? It's Kali, grammatically, basically, uh, psychologically, okay? Uh, what else? Happy? No, no, that one is different. <laughs> uh, happy Libra is different. Okay. Very good. Uh, let's continue with part number three. It says down here: underline the best recommendations recommendation in each group about what to do in the event of a fire. Two of them are not right. People, again, underline the best recommendation in each group about what to do in the event of a fire. Two of them are not right. We got five of them, go ahead. People, I'm going to give you three or four minutes to do this, not three, only three is fine. Go ahead. If there's a word or or a group of words that you don't understand, please let me know. Teacher, what means a course? Where is it? Where? Uh, uh, number one, third word. A course. Fire occurs. Ah, occurring. Happens. Happens. Yes, yes of course. Thank you. Remember that the, 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 you have the situation and you have three options for each situation. You're going to choose the best option, okay? Or the best recommendation. When fire occurs, people, you have to get your your iPhone, your 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 money out. <laughs> no, okay. That's not. Teacher, yes. Uh, what what is hesitation in the number four? Hesitation is when you are thinking too much. You're just you are like mm. yes, no, yes, no. Titubear in in Spanish. Dudar. Okay. Yes. Escape without escape first without hesitation. Sin pensarlo. Run, run. Yeah. 
done. Let me know when you finish. Okay. Yes. What is <clears throat> was Rav Rav? Where? Rav. Are you? Uh, Rav. Where? Where? Yeah. Where? Where is it? Door. When you come to close the door, grab. 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 This is grab. Agarrar. Agarrar. Es como. Handle. Sorry? It's like handle. Yeah, grab the handle. Handle is el, 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 or, or it's grab. A, it's, it's a verb. Grab, yes, grab is a verb. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yes, okay, okay. I see the one person is confirming. Okay, we're gonna start right now. Number one, let me see. Fatima, read number one and read your recommendation. When fire occurs? Occurs. Occurs. The recommendation is leave the place. Okay, leave the place. That is your recommendation. Yes. Let me like here. Leave the place. Okay. Then we got try to put out the fire. That is not a good idea. Get all the things of value. Now that one is not necessary. All right. Yes. Okay. The second one. Thank you, Fatima, for reading Christian. Read the second one and give me your recommendation or give me the best recommendation. Okay, teacher. Uh, when you come to a closed door, uh, I have to read all possible answer. What do you have, sorry? Uh, I have to read all possible answer or just my recommendation? Your, your recommendation. 
or the best okay. recommendation? When you come to a closed door, careful, feel, carefully feel the door now and the cracks of the door for hotness. Okay, yes. Carefully feel the doorknob and the cracks of the door for hotness. That's what we have to do. Okay. Number three, number three. Magdalena, please help us with this one. Are you there? Sorry, I am. Um, I was. Uh, I was speaking with the microphone off. Okay. Number three, designate a meeting place as near the bull. No, 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 my recommendation is away from the building. Hello. As near the building as possible, away from the building. We should go to home. We should no, go home. at home, no. I know, I know. I'm kidding. <laughs> that one is weird. Are you from the building? Yes. Lucy, can you help us with that one? Number four, Lucy. Thank you. Lucy, can you help us with Hector, you. Number four. Exactly, number four. Before trying to escape, the answer, uh, the best option is to escape first without hesitation. On your family. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Escape first without hesitation, okay? Yes, that's the best one. That's the best one. And uh, we continue here with. We haven't heard from Isabel. Isabel, are you there? He's not there. Me, teacher. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Fire alarms. Mm -hmm. There's then every year. No, sorry. No, no. Uh, yeah, uh, that, has, that has to be the best the best option. Install, uh, okay. yes. Just install them on the top and ground levels. Change them every five years. No. Okay. No. Yeah. You got it right. Okay. You got it right. Test them, test them every year. Okay. Yes. We have we have finished, okay, right here with this activity. We're going to continue with another activity. We don't have more and more of it to talk about. Okay. We'll stop sharing this. People, I'm going to share this with you. If we don't finish the activity, that is fine. Okay, it's perfect. We can continue with that tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow we're going to do the survey. For the survey, it is recommendable to get a computer or a laptop. Okay, that will be easy or easier for you. You can do it with the cell phone though, no problem. But it's going to be it is going to be or it is easier with the laptop or with the computer. Okay. Here, look, we got it right here. Group activity. What are? Let's see. Read with me. Read with me. Oh, wait. Do you see the, the, the document? Yes. Yes, teacher. Thank you. What are, yes, I can. What are your safety measures for the, for the following scenarios? Make a preventive poster <laughs> to staff where people know about what to do in case something goes wrong. We got five. Five scenarios here. Look, yeah. one of them is a tsunami yeah. is about to hit El Salvador. Yeah. Yeah. Earthquakes are too constant. Yeah. Yeah. Children at water parks. 
street reparations. Mira, me... sí, sorry. <laughs> and the last one is scattered glass on the floor. Okay. We got these five scenarios or five uh, situations. And I need you guys to do what it says here in the indication. Make a preventive poster to let staff or people know what to do in case something goes wrong. All right? Yes. A tsunami is about to hit a Salvador. That's not good. We will die soon. <laughs> right? It is not going to happen. That is not possible. What? To die? <laughs> We don't, we never know, you know. <laughs> all right, all right. People, uh, you can choose only one, okay? Or you're supposed to choose only one. You can choose the one that you the one that you want. Okay. Yes. That will be your decision. But let me share this with you in the chat. In that way you can see the options and you can choose your the option that you like. Okay, the option that you like. There you go. I have shared the information with you in the chat. Uh, I'm just gonna make like three groups because we don't have many people available for the moment. Let me do that just now, right now. Here with, and people please join the groups, join them. We're gonna be working on that. I need you guys to join them. It'll be really good. Oops, no, 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 wait. There's something wrong here. And then we see. Okay. Uh, we are ready. We are ready. Okay, guys, let's go. Please work with, with your partner or with your group, work. And uh, well, let's do the activity, okay? I will see you there. I will be monitoring you guys. Join the groups, please. Join them, join them right now, go. Go, 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 go. Guys, can you can you please join the groups? Hello, anybody there? Recording in 
in a PowerPoint. In PowerPoint, you can, you can do that. Eh, déjame ver. ¿No se puede compartir? Yes. You can share. Okay. We, can, we can share. Yes. We can. We can. Let me see PowerPoint. PowerPoint. The concurrent is very, very slow. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, pay the service. Slowest. <laughs> pay mm -hmm. the service. Sorry, teacher. Pay the service. Made in a service. <laughs> no. I can't. My computer is, is crazy. First, uh, damage the webcam. Oh, really? And, and continue, continue, continue. Arruinando. Getting worse. Uh, can you can you say can you see my my PowerPoint document? I can. Okay. What is the yes? I have. Okay. I can see. Okay. Okay. Eh, ¿Cuál sería nuestro nuestro desastre favorito? <laughs> Our heartbreak, uh, maybe. Heartbreak. Earth, earthquake. Maybe. Um, do, you, do you remember hey. this? You, do you remember this week? We have a heartbreak. This week, and yes. I, I was, I was driving in this moment. And I was driving in this moment. And the situation is, when I, I drive near to the government center, and everyone. Everyone outside, and I don't, I don't, um, I, darse cuenta, what is that in English? Realize, realize. And I don't realize because I, I was I driving. I didn't realize, tempo pass. Okay, I didn't realize because I was driving. Oh, no. What happened? And everybody Hector. <laughs> Work. Is it work? Mm, sorry. What do you what do you quark? Earth quark. Earthquake. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Earth. Earth. It's over there. Remember? Do you see it? Do you see over there? In the I, shot? I left the you know. Here, here. You don't see it? Sorry, sorry teacher. I could all right. I cannot hear it. Okay, let me let me share it in the in the chat. Oh okay. Earthquake. Quacky. Earthquake. Earthquake. Air, what Earth. do you do if if, ¿cómo se dice ocurre? Ocurre, <laughs> ocurre. Double, double C. Yes, double C. Double C. Ocurre. Ocurre. What do you do if you cure earthquake? Okie dokie. First, keep calm. Keep the calm. Hmm? Oh, keep, keep calm down. Calm. Down. <laughs> what was the idea? Down. Down? Keep, keep I see. Calm. No, keep calm. Oh, keep calm. Be like in case in case of earthquake. Como título, in case of earthquake. 
Ah, okay. I will see you soon. I will, I'll, I'll be back soon. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Are you guys working on the activity? Uh, yes, I am. And thinking. Okay, you're thinking. Teacher, you can say PowerPoint. Yes, if you can, or Microsoft Word. It depends on, on, on you. Okay. I'm here. I'm just I'm just monitoring, okay? I think you the earthquakes are too constant. Okay, you can do that one, no problem. Maybe you can talk about about uh, a university that has a building uh, uh, or something, you know, and they constantly. Not too many earthquakes. Use elevator. What other could it be? Don't use the elevator the puzzle, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep the calm. Okay, okay, another, 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 another. Don't use the elevator. Hey Antonio, can you can you help us? No, he's he's not he's not he's not available. He's sick. Oh okay, okay. He's sick. Sorry. Another a uh, Magdaleno. Calm don't don't do not hey lo veía mejor. Don't Don't use the elevator. Don't push each. Each other. Don't push each other. Why are you are walking out? Uh -huh. Okay. Are you walking out or running out? <laughs> no, uh, walking out. I don't know. I don't know. Run. <laughs> hey, hey, 
Eh, puede ser otra. Eh, no, don't run. Don't, don't run. Oh, yes, yes. Don't exactly, yes. run out. Don't run. Pero esto sería quizás. Bueno, vamos a ver. Control C. Control B. Don't run out. Don't run out. I don't panic. Teacher. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can you can you uh, erase this earthquake, please? You can do it. You can do it too. I can. No. Ah. Oh. oh, oh. I just did it. Control. <laughs> <laughs> Don't panic. Don't panic. Double N. No. One N. Panic. No te paniques. <laughs> Don't panic. <laughs> no, that's Don't not panic. how it goes. Panic. Panic. CK panic. Panic. Okay. Is it with double A, double N? Hold on. It's panic. No, no, okay. maybe not. No, it's, it's, not, okay. it's, it's, it's just like end. that. It's mm -hmm. just like that. Okay. Single N. And and the last one, because we done we don't have more space. Um, okay, we are ready in that. In that case, pray for us. <laughs> okay, you are. Hey, congratulations, me. You are the the speaker for today. <laughs> speaker. How do you speaker. say that? El yeah. ponente. Como dice el... You will be like like the par parlante. The groups. <laughs> the groups representative. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. Uh, thank you, but <laughs> in case of earthquake, what else you do? Uh, uh, you'll be like, don't go back to the building. Uh huh. Or return, teacher. Don't return. Uh huh. Return. Return to build, build teacher? Building, building, uh -huh. yes, to the building. A building, building. Building. E A N G. Yes. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Have you finished? Hi, right, did you finish, guys? Yes. Okay. Are you ready? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go back to the main session then. Let's go back. Let's go back. I'll see you guys there. Thanks.
we're back. We're gonna share the activity quickly. All right, we have three minutes. We can do that in three minutes. Yes. Let's see. Uh, Fatima, can you share yours? Well, Fatima is not here yet. Oh yes, she's there. Fatima, can you please share your activity? Or if you didn't do a presentation, can you please just read it? Okay, go ahead. Uh, the safety measure to follow in case of uh, earthquakes is keep calm, <laughs> proceed to the meeting point, and follow the instruction of the safe, safety com committee. 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 Commit. No, committee. 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 Yes, yes. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Keep calm, but we, we never keep calm when when uh, when uh, when an earthquake happens. We run. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, that's what we do. Thank you, Fatima. Actually, very good. Well done. Well done. Fantastic. I remember that the, the earthquake that happened like three days ago, four days ago. I was eating. I was having lunch. I was in my hammock out there, and I was just eating, and I was like, wait something is moving and then everything started moving like boom, 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 boom. I was like okay if it continues for like one more second I'm going to stand up I didn't get stand up I continue eating I was hungry all right oh man we, we, we see you again yes that's okay that's okay I can see that you have you have issues with your computer with your internet right internet you know what yeah. hey the service <laughs> All right, it's okay. it's okay. All right, Hector and Magdaleno, can you share your activity? Yes, teacher, we can. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Um, wait a little moment. Um, what do you do if you hear an earthquake? First, keep the calm. Uh, second, don't push each another while you are walking out. Don't use elevator. Don't run out, please. Don't panic. Don't return to building. Okay. Yes. I, the most simple rules to follow when when an earthquake happens. Excellent, Hector Magdaleno. Very good. Thank you very much for. Thank you. Your participation. Yes. You can stop sharing. All right, look, it's already 10 o'clock. We have nothing else to do. We're going to continue tomorrow. Yes, just a quick reminder, people, if you haven't finished working on the platform, please do so today or tomorrow the latest. Remember that tomorrow we finish, so the platform has to be ready by tomorrow, all right? Yes. And another thing here about the, 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 the survey, remember, the survey is for tomorrow. We don't do it today or we won't do it today. We won't do it tomorrow during the day. We will do it tomorrow during class, okay, here. Probably at 8.30 or at nine, we will start. Because, yes. Let's start. Let me take attendance, and after that, we will be free to go. Well, are you happy? <laughs> yes, right? Very happy. <laughs> okay, let me start. Adriana Maria Turcios. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Present teacher. Yes. Christopher Spitia Chipawa. He wasn't here yesterday either. Maybe he's sick. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present teacher. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Hector Francisco Morales. Present. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. 
present. Yes, Ivan Petrovich was not, was not here today, okay. Holman Saul Giron Sanchez. Present. Yes. Laura Yasmin Portillo Andres. No. Lucy Natalie Juarez. Present. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present. Yes. Teacher. Nelson Antonio de Rodas. Uh, we got Oscar Armando Romero. Yes. Pamela was not here. Roberto Carlos wasn't here. And Rosalina was not here either. Okay. People, thank you. Well, let me see. Uh, Gabriel, yes. Thank you, Livaldo, Antonio, and Oscar. Yes. Thank you guys for that. All right. Guys, if you have questions, you can stay and you can ask me. If you don't, then you are free to go. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night and sleep well. Bye, everyone. Take care. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Be happy. Be happy. Good night. You cannot log out. <laughs> You're trying to log out like, oh no, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> the phone the is, uh, is uh, rebel. <laughs> this is the word I don't know. <laughs> it's acting up. What? Acting, acting up in the chat. We act like actuar, acting up. Exactly. Acting up. Actando raro. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. My phone is acting up every day. Oh, yeah, I think. Okay. <laughs> That's fantastic. Hi everyone. Uh, okay, I'm gonna show you a little bit about what we're gonna study tomorrow. I mean, the grammar topic for tomorrow. This camera looks really bad. How can I fix it? How can I fix it though? It's too blurry. Getting better? No, it's too blurry. Yeah, there you go. Looks a little blurry. Still blurry. I apologize. Okay, tomorrow we're going to be reviewing this grammar topic. I'm going to show it to you right now and well, for you to have an idea. Okay, and that topic is this one. Okay, that topic is passive voice. Passive voice, we use, we use, excuse me. We use passive voice when we want to passes on the action there you go okay we use passive voice when we want to highlight the action or put emphasis on the action we use passive voice in all tenses simple present simple future simple past present perfect past perfect past perfect continuous present perfect continuous etc okay i'm going to show you some of them okay look i read books, simple present. It says, I, re I read it books. I read books. I cleaned, excuse me, cleaned my house, that's simple past. 
I am going to cook the dinner. Okay, only those three. Simple present, simple past, and simple future. These three. Let me show you how they go. In the passive voice, remember in the passive voice, the object of the sentence becomes the subject, okay? The object of the sentence becomes the subject. So that means that, means that books, my house and the dinner are going to be the subjects in the passive sentence. That subject is not going to be, I mean, we're not going to be emphasizing on the subject, okay? Our emphasis is going to be on the action. Look, books are read. Books are read, los libros son leídos. Books are read. My house was cleaned. And the last one was uh, the dinner is going to be cooked, okay? The dinner is going to be cooked. Books are read. My house was cleaned and the dinner is going to be cooked, okay? There are some ex exceptions with the passive voice. We cannot use go, we can use come, okay? Those ones, no, we cannot use stand. We can use sit in these cases because they don't have an object, okay? Excuse me. They don't, ha they don't have an object, so we cannot use these verbs with the passive voice. Example, I have gone to Portugal, okay? Passive Portugal has go has been gone okay hey, yo he ido a portugal in spanish right passive portugal excuse me portugal <laughs> okay portugal portugal has been gone portugal ha sido ido no right it makes it makes no sense okay so basically or let me tell you this we use passive voice with very specific verbs. There are some verbs that are called intransitive. They don't have objects, so we cannot use them in the passive voice, okay? Yes, only that. Guys, remember that practice makes perfection. You have to keep practicing every single day. Whatever you're at, practice. Whoever you're at with, wherever you're with, practice, okay? Because in that case, you're going to improve a lot. All right, people, I wish you the best. And I will see you in the next session, which is tomorrow or which will be tomorrow. And just take care and sleep and rest. See you tomorrow.